Hi, my name is Brandon Graisley. I'm a high school math teacher. I'm going to show you how to rearrange linear equations to put them in the slope y-intercept form, or the y equals mx plus b form. m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. So let's start with a fairly small example. I have x plus 5 minus y equals 0. Now the point is to have y by itself, and we typically will write it on the left-hand side. So, uh, we've got a couple of options here. I'm going to just, first off, reverse everything, um, putting y kind of over onto the right-hand side. x plus 5. I want to get rid of this y and kind of move it over there. To do that, I'm going to add y to each side of the equation. Here I've added plus y here and here. Same thing on both sides. When I do that, I see I've got a minus y and a plus y here. That's going to clear out this y from this side and leave me with x plus 5 equals uh, y over here. And as I say, we typically will write this the other way around. And you're okay to do that with equations. You can uh, put everything from one side to the other just like that. So that's y equals x plus 5. Let's try something a little more challenging. 3x plus y equals 2. Uh, here again, we want to get the uh, y by itself. Uh, to do this, we, we notice that we have a 3x over on the same side. We don't really want that there anymore. So to move that, we're going to subtract 3x from each side. 3x here and minus 3x here, that's 0, so we're left with y equals 2 minus 3x, although we often want that slope y-intercept form with the x value first and then that b y-intercept value second, so let's just rewrite this one more time. This negative 3x we're going to put in the front, and that's a plus 2, a positive 2 that we write just after it. All right, let's do one that's a little bit harder, which includes uh, some fractions in the, in the final result. 3x minus 7y plus 2 equals 0. This is what we might call standard form, where everything, every term is written uh, all on one side. It all equals 0, and uh, each uh, variable here shows up sort of in one spot. I want to get this y by itself, so let's get it rid of everything else. Uh, and I write it out like this. I want to subtract 3x because it's a positive 3x here. Subtracting 3x is going to clear it out. And I also want to subtract 2 to get rid of this negative 2. So that's 0 minus 3x minus 2 on that side. So just to show you, these are the things here which I have attached to each side of the equation done the same thing to both sides. When I do that, let's grab another color here, I'll see that this and this are the same, 3x and minus 3x, and here I've got positive 2 and then negative 2. I'm subtracting over there. So those things are kind of all going to cancel each other out, and I'm left with just negative 7y on this side. Over here I've got negative 3x minus 2. Well, we're not quite there yet. We don't have our tidy slope y-intercept form because over here we've got a coefficient, negative 7, attached to the y. We've got negative 7 times y, and we really want y by itself. So to clear that out, we're going to use the inverse operation, the opposite. We're going to divide by negative 7, but we have to do that to both sides of the equation. So negative uh, 7 there's a couple ways you can do this. You can divide the whole thing by negative 7, or what I like to do is divide uh, each term by negative 7. So this over negative 7, and then over here, divided by negative 7. There's quite a few options for how to work this through, um, how, where you put your signs and that sort of thing. Negative 7 divided by negative 7, that's just 1. So this is now y, just like I wanted on this side all by itself. Here I've got negative 3 over negative 7 times x, well, those negative signs are going to cancel each other out, and I'm left with 3 sevenths x. 
and this is a minus 2 over negative 7. Again, two negative signs here. That's going to end up being 2 sevenths. Now I've got my slope y-intercept form. m is 3 sevenths, that's the slope, and b is 2 sevenths, that's the y-intercept. So that's rearranging uh, a couple of different f equations to get slope y-intercept form. Thanks.